Okay, welcome back. Today we're talking about text boxes. And text boxes are a powerful feature because they bring you from the word processor up to the publishing document. Now, if you're doing a lot of publishing, in other words, you're making flyers and brochures and things of that nature, you're going to love text boxes. If you're a writer, you like literature, you're not going to care for text boxes as much. Um, they're a little more complex um, and a little more graphical and less text based even though they're called a text box. So here we have a text box during high school and also this text here is in a box. And if I select on it and I want it to go all on one line, all I have to do is bring the box all the way out until the text fits inside the box. And the other thing I do is bring down the font size, but I want to keep the font size. And now I can move the text around. Now, this box actually causes text wrap. If you go to your inspector, if your inspector is not shown, press the inspector button, select the text wrap icon, which is right here. And then you'll see this object placement floating does not move with text. So in this case, we've got this, we can float it around in between the text. Now, the wrap that the text does around the text box is right here. Object causes text wrap. Now, if I select this one, it makes it almost like a perfect box around it. So this is great when you're trying to put that picture up at the corner, down in this corner or off to the side, and you don't really need to fiddle around with the formatting, it will adjust the text for you. And again, we can justify left and right, whatnot. So in text fit, we can have it square or triangle. And I don't think you see much of a difference there because it's not a shape and we'll talk about shapes later. But the space right now is 12 point. We can bring the space down and actually close this in really close to that text box. So I'm not sure think of a reason why you want it that close but this is really important when we start dealing with images and we can put the text in the background as you can see here the text is falling down behind there I um, mean it could be in the foreground and then background images are selectable so if we put it in the background that means we can select the background image if I deselect this and I click out see I can't all I'm grabbing is the text over it I can't grab the text behind it so you want to make sure background images are selectable and we can grab that box and go ahead and drag it out again. Great. Now I should point out that as I'm moving this around, if you see these blue lines that pop pop up, those are alignment guides. So right there is a center alignment, and right here we have a center alignment on the picture. So when you see those pop up, they're designed to help you in aligning your project. So we have this text box. We're going to go back to this now. And inside the text box, we can do the same things we've done before. We can change the font. We can change the size. We can change the color to whatever color we want. Um, all the formatting features of that, the, the colorful formatting features, work great with a text box. And the reflection does work, so does a shadow. And those are located in the object graphic section. We see here shadow. We can change the color of the shadow. And I'll cover this more when we get into um, graphics. Change the angle of the shadow um, and the opacity. So all these features still work on this uh, with a text box. So let's go ahead and put a new text box in so you know how to do that. Now to insert a new text box, you can go to File, Insert, <clears throat> where, Insert Text Box, and it just drops the box in the middle of the document for you, and you can enter your text, and then you can select this, and go back to the inspector, back to the, yeah, okay, there we go, see. Now, this text box by default, drops in as inline moves with text. So in this case, you see I'm moving it, but the, the text isn't moving. That's a good thing because as you're typing, I'll give you an example here. We've got text in this box and let's increase the text size. So that way we, we can really see what's happening here. Uh, maybe even bigger. Okay. So we've got this text in here and if we wanted the beginning of the paragraph, we can drop it here. Let's see if we can get it to move here. There we go. Now I got it to move down to that line. Now the reason why this is important is if I'm here typing and oh, let me go to the next line. If I'm here typing, you can see it stays with that text that I'm typing, stays in line with it. So if this if this text box is an important word that has something to do with the paragraph, I want it to stay in line. But in this case, if I drop this in here and I go back to causing wrap, 
and I go ahead and type in here, now watch what happens. See, the, the text moves in line, but the text box stays. So those are the two options. Uh, yeah, undo that. Okay, let's put during high school back out of the way. Now the other way to uh, remove a text box is to click on the text box and select delete on your keyboard or you can I believe you can right click delete and you can go to edit delete you could also backspace and delete the whole box now if you delete the whole box if you hit backspace and you meant to just get rid of a word in the box remember Apple Z will return it and you can select the text and the same way as we did outside you can go inside put your cursor in and move it around and select the text now in this case the text is spilling out from one box to the next. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this to a floating box because I just want to show you how this works. It's a little bit of an advanced move, um, but I think most of you will really enjoy this. So I'm going to go ahead and select. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the text here that I have. And I'm going to go cut. I'm going to push all that text down out of the way. Just so I can show you. And I'm going to paste this in. Now now the text is in here but it's obviously a lot more text than fits in the box you can see there but where's the text going well that's what this little plus sign is indicating here that plus sign is telling us that there's more text in the box and we need to make the box bigger or continue it on so to continue a text box on I'm going to add a new text box select the text box I want it floating it's good move it over here out of the way I'm going to increase the size and what I'm going to do now is select the first text box. See the little blue arrow here? Select that blue arrow and it says click another text box to link it. I click here. I'm going to add a third text box. And I'm going to do the same thing. Click the down arrow, link it here. And you can see, well, I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of this. And I could even bring this down to another page and insert a text box. And again, I can go backwards by clicking this, scrolling up to that text box, and linking it. So now the text is jumping from the first box to the second to the third as we scroll down to the fourth. And we can keep going and going and going and going. So that's text boxes. It, do learn that how to link text one box to another because I will be testing you on that as an assessment. That's a very powerful feature. And come on back and we're going to start talking about graphics.